Bye. Bye. Have a nice life. Have a nice life. <laughs> See you in about eight hours, yeah. ten hours. Yep. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. I've had the ultimate lazy day today. I feel like all this tiredness has just caught up with me today. I went to bed quite late yesterday because obviously I'd slept all morning. And then I woke up really early with Jas. I went down for breakfast with him first thing in the morning at about seven o'clock. We had breakfast in the hotel this morning and it was okay. It didn't really blow us away. I'll insert a little clip of my weird breakfast that I had. I had like salad, olives, croissant, cheese, and I also had some fruit um, and some granola. But I mean, it was okay, it was very exciting expensive but I think that's just Dublin in general and then after breakfast I had a little bit of a snooze again I was just far too tired to be up at that time of the morning so I had a little nap for a couple of hours after Jas went to work and last night I was actually thinking about all the work I have to do I have so much work to do aside from just sitting down to edit vlogmas videos I haven't posted on Instagram I haven't been consistent with my blog I actually haven't replied to a single email since vlogmas started I've just got loads of admin -y bits to do so I just thought you know what I'll use the morning or well what was left of the morning by the time I wake up because I woke up and washed my hair and stuff like that I thought I'd use the rest of the day just to do some work I know it's a bit of a shame that I'm in Dublin and I'm like sitting here working but I mean this isn't really a holiday I'm just kind of tagging along with Jas because he's working and obviously it's not a traditional holiday so I will try and do like touristy things obviously as and when I can but obviously a girl's got to work and I will definitely be back in Dublin because he's working here for quite a long time so it's not like I'm in a rush to do it all now but I really have to reply to some emails I walked down to the local shops just to buy myself a can of coke um, I didn't fancy sitting anywhere and having lunch on my own again today and I may or may not have stolen a croissant and a cheese slice from breakfast wrapped it up in a tissue and put it in my handbag this morning so that is gonna be my lunch we also have like a few like Grey's snack boxes that we bought from London so I'm just gonna like have a few snacks I'm not really that hungry because breakfast was quite filling and yeah I'm just literally doing nothing I'm just gonna sit here and do some work now I just fell asleep while editing and I was so glad that Jas called me because I was literally sat on this chair like hunched over my laptop falling asleep and I've fallen asleep while editing vlogmas videos every single day I don't know what it is I don't know if it's because I'm just really tired and it's all catching up with me if I'm getting a cold um, or if it's just because editing requires so much concentration but now I really need to get this video edited and then get ready to leave in the next like hour or so I think it's because I haven't had a proper coffee today I've just had this coke zero so i'm gonna like go down to the reception bit in a bit they do like free teas and coffees in the hallway and see if i can get soy milk so that i can just have one of those and take it with me when i leave oh i just need to stay awake god damn it right i'm finally ready to leave i'm gonna put some lipstick on pillow talk i wore this yesterday actually and i don't think it suits me uh, i forgot to check it <laughs> sorry i forgot to check it properly before it wore off so i'm gonna try it out again there's some kind of protest going on outside okay i have no idea what's going on outside sounds like a protest of some description i can't really go out with my hair like this can i i wish i could but i think it's just a bit too high doesn't really suit me i don't know um i am gonna go meet jas at st stephen's green so i'm gonna get on the luas by myself the luas is actually the tram in dublin and he's been taking it to and fro work yesterday and today so i don't think it'll be too difficult and apparently you can just buy a ticket like at the bus stop or the tram stop um so we'll see how i get on <laughs> oh yeah look there is a protest save our pool save a swimming pool that's very strange anyway this balcony thing is so weird 
Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go meet him. But you know what? I'm really like worried about vlogging on my own in public because before I got to Dublin, I saw that somebody I follow on Instagram, she was in Dublin last week and within five hours of her landing, her phone got stolen. She said she pulled it out to Insta Story, and she remembers putting it back in her handbag. When she went to look for it, it was gone. And she said the taxi driver warned her, all of them, she was with a few friends, that like loads of people are like pickpocketing people. And then one of my friends messaged me and she was like, oh, you're in Dublin. She used to live here for a year, like a year ago. And she was like, Dublin's so rough. She was telling me all the postcodes to avoid. She either said all the odd numbers or the even numbers. Um, she was like, avoid those because they're really rough. She said there's loads of crackheads and one of her like colleagues got mugged on the Luas at 8 p.m. So it wasn't even that late. She said basically if it's an odd postcode, it's rough. So Dublin 1, Dublin 3 is rough. Even numbers are fine, so like Dublin 2. I don't know, but ever since she said that, I've been looking around and people do seem quite shifty. So I'm just a little bit wary of like my phone and my vlogging camera. I'm not normally like this in a different country, but yes, I'm gonna go before I'm late. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. Been reunited with Josh. Hey, what's happening? I went to the bus stop by accident and this guy was <laughs> laughing at me. He was like, no, this is not the tram stop. Anyway, we're on Grafton Street. Oh, what's this? Hey, Josh. Yeah? If you were looking for a tram, you should see tram lines on the floor. It was very was crowded and I was very like, oh my god, where the hell am I going? Anyway. It's very busy on the tram. I don't know if it's Grafton Street. Can we go to that shop? Which one? I'm going to Dunn's. Like, all the Irish bloggers talk about it. I have no idea what it is. Here. No idea what this is. Oh, look at these horses dressed up as Rudolph. They're so cute. Oh, so cute. food coma and because we had dinner quite early all the shops have now shut so we're heading back to the Lewis which is the tram to go back and it is raining as well I'm so tired today oh here it is So we got off one stop early on the tram because I spotted the ivy and I thought they might have like a nice display for me to like take some photos outside of. I know it's obviously dark and it's night time but I have no one to take photos with me on, in the day. Like when Jas leaves for work it's still dark, when he comes back it's still dark. I can't do that whole self timer thing but the ivy in Dublin doesn't have like a very nice um, flower wall thing like the one in Chelsea it's a bit disappointing so I wouldn't have been able to take any nice photos anyway anyway back to the trip I cannot believe how many people there are outside this pub that queue goes all the way around the corner we've just come from down that street it's only a Tuesday night god okay we're back in the hotel and I feel like this has just been one of the ultimate lazy days. Not even lazy, just a boring day because I've just been working, chilling in the hotel. I literally just got on the tram to go and meet just for dinner because we were going to go around the shops, but I didn't realise that they'd closed so early given that it's so close to Christmas. But by the time we were done with dinner, it was just gone eight o'clock and I think a lot of them closed at eight. So we went down Grafton Street and then on the way home, I really fancied chocolate. So we walked past a spa and Jas picked up a whisper. Um, he got the duo because it was the same price as the regular one, which is a bit weird. And I picked this up, it was extortionate. It it was three euro which is basically three pounds but um i followed laura from laura's views who is an irish blogger and she's also vegan and she raves about these she was like they're really hard to find and they are really expensive but they're totally worth it and she absolutely loves them so the minute i saw it in spa i was like oh my god i have to try it three pound or not <laughs> so i'm gonna have some chocolate and in fact 
might do a face mask. I'm pretty sure I bought one with me. When I was in Toronto, I went into Sephora because my skin was really bad. It was breaking out. And I asked for a sample of their, um, here we go, Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask because I absolutely love it. And I was like, can I just get a sample to try? And I never got a chance to actually like do the mask. So I kept it in my travel makeup bag and I bought it here with me. So I think I'm going to put that on tonight. Okay, so I've just brought you into the bathroom because I thought I would just show you my skincare. Um, just because I think today has been a little bit boring so I've just taken my makeup off with this Garnier Micellar Water as per usual. Then I'm going to do my proper sort of second cleanse with this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is the teeny tiny one that I got in Sephora last Black Friday I think. It lasts for ages. This is probably my third trip that I've taken it on and I have quite a fair amount of it left as well. Um, yeah, I've got just under half of it left, so that's pretty good going. Um, I use it sparingly, of course. Then I'm going to put on this face mask, Peter Thomas Roth, of course. I'll leave that on for about three to seven minutes, I think it is, and massage it in so it exfoliates my skin. And I wouldn't usually do this at home, but I, if I feel like I need it, I'm going to go in with this Glossier Super Bounce. I normally just use this in the daytime underneath my moisturiser or, well, I mean... I'll admit, if I'm feeling super lazy, just on its own. Um, I don't even moisturise all the time when I'm travelling. My skincare is really bad when I'm travelling, by the way. I'm very, very lazy, which is why I've kind of put off showing you just what I pack. Um, so, I might use this if I feel like my skin needs it. And then I'm going to go in with this night cream, if it focuses. This is the m &S Beauty Formula Absolute Ultimate Sleep Cream. I really, really like this. I've had this sample for quite a long time. I got it in my beauty advent calendar from m &S last year and as you can see I'm very lazy about skincare and I haven't really used it so it's kind of like I'd say it's about two thirds full. I just love traveling with like nice minis not crappy ones. So yeah I've done this. I'm gonna go into that and then that and I'll be back. Okay there's literally nowhere for me to perch you down but I'm just cleansing my skin with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This hotel is also a bit annoying. They don't have any um, face cloths so I've been using like spare hand towel as my face cloth and um, I kind of get them to change it every day. So I'll take that over my lips and now I'm going to go and wash my face which I'm sure you don't need to see because you all know how to wash a face. <laughs> can you see this PTR mask? It is tiny. I don't know if it's even going to cover my face but let's give it a go. So while my skin is damp I'm just massaging this in. Obviously at home I would like do this properly and use like a foundation brush to apply it but of course I don't have one of those so I've had to kind of like take it out of the pot with the back of my nail which is a little bit annoying. I'm sure this is very unflattering because I can't see anything um, just because I don't have my contact lenses in. Okay so of course my battery died halfway through filming that but I have been vlogging for long enough to know that you should always have a spare battery charged and ready to go. So this mask has actually been on for about five minutes now and I think it's ready to take it off. God, my skin looks really bad. I don't know if it actually does or not. Like I said, I'm blind. So I'm gonna go and wash this off, but for that I definitely need to use like a face cloth because I don't want to like have anything left on my skin. So I'll just dampen like a corner of this hand towel. Again, if I was at home, I would just use a face cloth and then just like work it into my skin, kind of exfoliate it and take everything off. So once I've done that, I'll be back. So I've got really hot flannel, did some really hot water and I just sort of massage it into my skin like so. Oh, look at that gunk. Oh. <sighs> right, now I'm gonna go wash my face. Right, that's all off. I've put the um, Glossier Super Bounce Serum on and now, oh, I'm just putting on that um, m &S Night Cream. This one smells so nice. If I don't have so many night creams at home, I repurchased this one in a full size. I really like the way my skin feels when I wake up after I put this on. But yeah, there we go. That is on. I don't bother with eye cream. But let me just show you the next few steps. So, I've done this. I've done the mask, the second cleanse, the Glossier Super Mounts, the m and uh, formula absolute eye cream. I also forgot I had one of these in my toiletry bag. I always keep a sheet mask in there just because, especially like for a long haul flight, obviously not to Dublin, but I feel like my skin just needs that extra moisture. So this is a good shout. I might use this like tomorrow or something if I feel like it. I find that the only time I really use sheet masks are when I'm traveling. So 
that's that. This PTR mask actually, um, I didn't even use all of it, so I'm definitely gonna keep that part. I'm gonna keep this bag too, because I've got the full size version at home. I could just refill it for next time, which is great. Um, if I wasn't doing that mask, I would use glycolic acid. This is the Alpha H Liquid Gold. I absolutely love this. There's a very, very tiny amount left, but I'm definitely gonna keep this bottle. And in fact, I have already refilled this with the Pixie Glow Tonic. I just like that it's smaller than the Pixie Glow Tonic travel size one, and this definitely doesn't leak. I haven't tried the other one. That probably doesn't leak either, but I'm just saying this one's a bit smaller, a bit easier to travel with. If I had a choice between the two, I actually think I prefer this over the Pixie one, but it is a lot more expensive. So I've got a little bit left in this, but I'm not going to use glycolic acid tonight just because I've used this pumpkin enzyme mask and I don't want to burn my skin. I also carry this in my travel toiletry bag. This is basically from Skin Clinics. It's their anti-blemish intense blemish lotion basically it's like dr spot from soap and glory i think it's just a spot cream like um a topical spot cream hate the smell of it but it really really does work so i just keep this one in my travel bag just in case i get spotty skin from traveling which does sometimes happen then after i've brushed my teeth i might use this this is the Oh, why is it not focusing? Okay, there we go. This is the Pixie Nourishing Lip Polish. It's like a lip scrub. I love this. I always keep this in my laptop bag, actually. Um, and this was in my hand luggage in my little clear liquids bag. But I also keep the GlossierBalm.com in my travel makeup bag. So I might put on some kind of lip balm if I feel like it once I've brushed my teeth. That is my toothbrush, in case anyone cares. Um, but I'm not going to brush my teeth just yet because I'm going to go and have some chocolate first and maybe read a book. Okay, so that is a little run through of my skincare when traveling. If you guys want to see like what's in my skincare bag or what's in my travel makeup bag, then do leave me a comment down below. I know a couple of people have already asked for it, but I don't know if anyone else actually wants to see it. So just let me know in the comments below and I will try and do that at some point during Vlogmas. If not, then I'll do it at some point in the near future. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here and just go and read my book, eat my chocolate and go to bed like I keep saying. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day 12. Bye.